Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, we're going to be back here at the Zone Star. So, one of the things I'm going to show you today is how to do the auto leveling and talk a little bit about that. So, I've got the auto level sensor. I'll spit that out installed here. Now, when you install this, what you want it to do is be about two to two and a half millimeters above the bed. Now, one of the things you also have to be careful about is having, you know, glass or something too thick above the bed. I've got this um, knockoff Biltac surface put on here, which I'm using, and, and uh, you know, this, this is okay. The sensor can easily sense the metal through this. Um, and the other thing you have to do before starting this whole procedure is do a paper level. So I've already, I've already done a paper level on this. Now, one of the things to note, obviously this has two nozzles, and one of the things I sort of average between the two nozzles, this bed is pretty straight, so I really don't have an issue with it. One of the things you guys might note is I really don't use glass. Um, you know, if the bed is that warped, I simply get another bed, and I really haven't had that issue. So the only one that I actually use glass on is the Alpha Wise over there, and that's just because it came with glass on, on, on the piece. Other than that, doing a Biltac type surface, a P, PEI uh, substrate on top of here has always worked fine for me. But I do try to average that out. Now I've got this done, and so what I need to do now to start the auto leveling routine is press the center button. And then I'll need to scroll down uh, until I come to configuration. Then again, press the center button. Then, cent then at general, press the center button again. And then you'll notice that I have auto leveling on, is set to on. And then I need to go down to auto level measure and then press the center button to activate it. Now what will happen is it will do a homing sequence as you see here. And once the homing sequence is done, it'll go and touch off um, in, in several different locations. Now watch the light. You probably should be able to see the light on the uh, sensor here because this blue piece is the sensor. And you can see it kind of going through doing its thing. So it's going to touch off. It's really measuring the sides of the bed here. And then once finished here, it'll move over. So as you see here, it's now going to the center of the bed. And, and this is to, you know, all those folks, and I've gotten into several debates over time on this. You only need three points to define a plane, and I just smacked my palm to my forehead. Because the piece is, that's correct, three points do define a plane. But you'll notice this is checking numerous points, because this is actually a complex plane. It's not, it's not a perfect plane. So... You know, think about it, you know, as a fractal where it's broken up into many different little planes. And that's sort of why it's checking all these different locations uh, is for that reason to kind of average out the surface of the plane. So now um, I believe that's the last one that it's doing its test on. And now it's finished. Uh, there are no errors on the screen, so we're all good. Now, one of the things to keep in mind that this only compensates for one millimeter or less uh, of error. So again, you have to get a really good paper level first. And this is just really taking out ab abnormalities in the bed itself, back to what I was talking about. All right, so now with this all set on, set up, and then as I mentioned before, you have to make sure that you have auto leveling turned on. And um, if I go back here to, uh, let's go back down, I'll show you that just once again. Because I tell you what, this is really turning out to be my new fave printer. Uh, so I go back to configuration, I go to general, hit the center button, and then we see auto level is on. So that's a good thing. So uh, we're just going to go back. So now the next thing we really need to do is print the test cube, or at least that's what it suggests doing to make sure we have everything right. Uh, so I'm going to go back up here, and I'm now uh, going to go to print file, and you can see I got Chuck's chest pawn here, one of my favorites for testing. But I'm going to do the uh, auto level test cube here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to print this. So this is going to go do its little setup and. Um, the G-code comes with it. The G-code is on the SD card, so I hope that uh, it's going to come up to temperature and everything. Uh, but, you know, one of the things, you know, as we, we're going through this, you know, the idea is I've also set up, and I've, I've covered this in another video, 
Uh, interesting, it's running through the routine again. I think uh, in the G code, it's actually set up to do this uh, at the startup. Uh, so it's go going through and doing it again. Because it does store, at least the, per the instruction, says it stores the location. Now that was a little bit interesting because it did a move from over here. So this is, does seem to be a little bit different. I haven't uh, done this. You're seeing this sort of in real time as I'm going through uh, doing this setup. So now it seems to be, yeah, it's counting up um, and doing the count up on the temperature. So uh, hopefully everything will be good there. Um, so I tell you what, let's watch this print and then we'll come back and we'll take a look to see how it comes out. Okay, welcome back. So we've got the test cube here. This looks a little bit different than the one in the picture, but uh, this was one on the file. Uh, one of the things I do notice, I'm going to try to zoom in this little um, striation here. Now, I'll do an overlay, and according to the overlay, this says that it, the Z offset of this is a little bit too small. I'm really not sure that that's the case, because one of the things this did print with a cold bed. Um, so I don't know if that's really the case or not. The rest of this came out very nice. I didn't have an issue. I'm going to try some more experimentation with this. I think this is just maybe a little bit more so of a cold bed. But I will try uh, still playing with it. So I wanted to share this with you. I mean, so far so good with this. Now, one of the things you may be asking yourself is, is why do I need auto leveling and why am I so interested in, on this printer? I don't have it really on any of my other printers, well, except for my Da Vinci's, uh, but they don't really count. However, I am very interested in, in it because this has dual extruders and have in, in there, I think about uh, 10 or 20, 20 millimeters apart, something like that. And so having a level surface here or an adjusted level surface, I think is more important than if you're just printing, you know, with one filament, with one nozzle. Uh, so what I'm doing is gearing up to do some more experimentation with dual extrusion printing. I've tried a little bit of this in the past in the DaVinci. I've got the DaVinci 2.0 and I've done it. Not too exciting, but I'm hoping with some of the newer filaments and newer slicers that it's a little bit easier uh, than it used to be in the past and maybe a little bit more effective. So anyways, I'm going to give this a big thumbs up, auto leveling. I'm going to do a little bit of playing with this. I think this is maybe a little bit more so to the, due to a cold bit. If you got this own start and you've seen this, let me know down below if, what you think of this. So anyways, don't forget to swag shop up there if I don't hit the filament tube. And then tell you what, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all.